Nico is going to be talking about flipping uh, the uh, narrative on cash flow. And I yes, think it really you. flows well into everything that we heard about recession now, because what you're about to tell us, I think, is perhaps the most pragma pragmatic way of uh, making sure that your survival chest is there in the first place. So over to you, Nicole. Thank you. So yeah, Robert was speaking my love language there, talking about p l balance sheet. And I want to apologize. Uh, I was in Las Vegas last week and uh, for a QuickBooks conference, and I came back a little bit of a, a bug. So apparently what happens in Vegas doesn't always stay in Vegas. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and share my slides here. So uh, I'm Nicole. I'm gonna be talking to you about cash flow. And if you haven't felt like this guy uh, here before, uh, that's too afraid to look at his bank account, then you probably haven't been in business long enough. And if you have, then um, hopefully I can help you never feel that way again. Oops. Is my screen? Can you guys see my screen? I can't, but I'm, I'm sure it's going to come back. I'm sure okay. I was working on it. Okay. Let me try again. Let's try again. Because this is the beauty of doing things live. <laughs> you might you you, you might you might want to you might want to share it again. Yeah. S start sharing again. There, there you go. go. Okay. Perfect. Cool. Let me know if it drops again. So there are 33 million businesses in the United States, um, and this is a crazy stat that I was really surprised to hear when I heard it for the first time. But of those 33 million businesses only 4% will ever get over a million dollars in revenue. And I'm sure you guys have all heard this stat before, but when businesses fail, most of the time is cash flow. 82% of businesses fail due to cash flow. So based on the topic of this event, the agency growth event, I'm imagining most of you probably want to grow. So I don't know why I'm having an issue with this last, there we go. Um, so I want you to think about cash as fuel for your business, cash as fuel for business growth, and cash as a, a tool as people are talking about possible recession. I like to ignore that kind of talk, but if you want to put yourself in a good position, if something is to happen down the road, you need to make sure that you're in a strong cash position. So if you think for a second about um, your the last time you looked at your accounts receivable agent report, and the dollar amount, as a business owner, you probably always know what that dollar amount is on average around. And so I want you to imagine that if you had that dollar amount in your bank account right now today, what could you do with it? Maybe it's $50,000, maybe it's $80,000, maybe it's a million dollars. If you had that cash in your bank account today, could you hire a new account manager? Could you take a distribution and invest in real estate? Um, could you go on a family vacation? Could you hire a new director of operations to get you out of managing the business so then you can go make more sales? So this is the average day. This data is from the Agency Management Institute and it's benchmark data on how fast agency owners get paid. And you can see as agencies get bigger, the time it takes to get paid gets longer. And that's typically because if you're a bigger agency, you're probably working with bigger clients and uh, bigger clients like to push the small guys around a little bit. So they may uh, only offer 60 or 90 day terms. And so I advise you to be careful about taking on those types of clients because what ends up happening. So that in this example, let's say you have, it takes you 45 days to get paid by a client. Well, that's three pay periods of payroll that you have to cover as the business. Um, and that doesn't even count contractor costs, rent, all of your operating expenses that need to be covered before you collect the revenue that those expenses generated. So where does that cash come from? It comes from cash reserves. It comes from you as the business owner. If you've ever had to contribute money to your business, um, you can relate to this. Or maybe you have to go out and get a line of credit and draw on that line of credit and then pay interest. So you can see that there's a lot of value in having cash in your bank account um, 
today rather than waiting 45, 52 days. And so if you think about like uh, the 30, 60, 90 day buckets on your accounts receivable aging, it's kind of silly because that all started back in the day when someone actually had to stuff an envelope with an invoice and then mail it and then you would wait to get a check back. There's no reason we should be waiting 30, 60, 90 days. Um, we really should be getting paid up front for the work that we do. So I want to then now talk about what happens if you actually reverse the order of operations here. So instead of paying out all your expenses first, sending out an invoice, waiting to get paid, and then having to front all those expenses, what if we collected the cash first all the time before we um, paid out our expenses? And I'm gonna go into an example of the insane impact this can have on your business, especially as it grows. So a little bit about me, I haven't introduced myself. I'm Nicole, I am the founder and CEO of Momentum Accounting, I am a I like to say recovering CPA because I haven't done a tax return in eight years and I hope I never have to do one again. That was a past life. Um, but I started Momentum Accounting uh, about six years ago. And what we do is we help agency owners boost cash flow with a three step plan. So the first thing we do is we implement modern accounting technology to allow you to get paid first and fast. We help you grow profits by measuring and managing key financial metrics in your agency and benchmarking them against those standards. And um, we also help with the regular ongoing bookkeeping, payroll, all that fun stuff um, that you don't want to deal with as the agency owner. Um, so I'm now just going to jump into a quick case study about how we helped our a client increase their cash flow by over a million dollars. So the situation is this was a $10 million business. When we first started working with them, they had $800,000 in accounts rece receivable. And it was growing monthly because their revenue was growing. So uh, their average days to get paid when we started working with them was over 30 days. Because they had so much in accounts receivable, that meant that those expenses, right, have to be funded from somewhere. So they had a line of credit, um, they had a massive line of credit balance or loan balance. They had a CFO who was trying to manage cash flow, spending all this time, um, you know, making sure they could make payroll. And then they had an accounts receivable clerk, full-time position, and she was manually downloading invoices from QuickBooks desktop, putting them in emails, sending them out, and they had 150 clients. And so you can imagine the, the chaos this created where they're doing the work, they're setting up the invoice, and then she's spending all her time calling, chasing, chasing, chasing. So because of this, the owners, uh, I think there was his mom and daughter, they were making about $150,000 in salary and they weren't able to take out any distributions beyond that. And you think about that, you know, making a salary of $150,000 for a $10 million business, it's not even worth it. You could go out and get a job and, and make more than that. So even though they had high profits, there was no cash to take out because they were growing and constantly having to fund the new revenue with new expenses. So here's what we did. We started working with them and we implemented uh, Zero, which is similar to QuickBooks Online. And we also implemented a, a payment software called uh, Go Cardless. And so we switched from a bill and wait to get paid to a pull payment process. So now what happens is invoices, all 150 invoices are created automatically on the first of the month. That triggers the ACH invoice pool. The money comes out of the client's bank accounts. And guess what? Seven days later, all of their revenue is in the bank account. And that's before they even paid their pay first payroll. So this took time to implement with legacy customers, right? We had to go and talk to every, we didn't do it, but we worked with our operations manager to go meet with every client uh, and tell them, hey, like this is our new process. We're taking your ACH information on file. If that's not okay, then you don't have to work with, with us anymore. And guess what? Nobody left. So it, it actually, if you ask clients, they most of the time, they will go with whatever your policy is. And then, so here are the results of what happened. So you can see here the accounts receivable person, that position was eliminated because there was no longer accounts receivable. The CFO uh, was billing hourly as a contractor. And so his time was reduced. They were able to pay off their line of credit. 
we switched them from, uh, they were, they did have some clients paying by credit card, so they were paying that 3% fee, so we switched them to ACH. So we did add a, a little bit of ACH fees in there, but we eliminated the 3% credit card fees. And then um, the, the biggest, most beautiful part of this is we got that $800,000 that was sitting in all their customer's bank account in our client's bank account. And so this company, that's essentially the same exact business, now has a million more dollars in their bank account. And so what did that, what impact did that have on the business owners? Well, they, um, they, the mom and daughter purchased a condo in Hawaii. Uh, and they plan to sell, actually they, sorry, they sold their business this year. We got them through due diligence. And so now they're retiring in Hawaii and they were able to acquire that, um, that condo last year, right? So it's already appreciating. And then we've got the other thing that was a big game changer is they were able to take that cash and invest it in marketing to drive growth prior to, the, uh, prior to selling their business. So they got a larger multiple. So if they, we didn't do this, they would have had to wait until they sold their business to, um, to capture that outstanding AR, right? They would have gotten paid that in, in the sales price, but we've multiplied that by getting the cash flow earlier. So I hope you can see my point here uh, in that you don't want to be a bank for your clients and you want to be in control of when you get paid. So just be careful about when you're taking on these big projects or sexy clients um, the impact that it can actually have on your business. So anyway, that's me. Um, feel free to check out our website, momentumaccounting.com or connect with me on LinkedIn. I like to post a lot of silly stuff on LinkedIn. So thanks so much for having me.